What's up guys? So today I am working on an automatic, sorry for the noise, got a furnace running up here in the garage. I'm working on an automatic dog water bowl is what I'm working on today. And here's the unit itself. It's got a little float in there that uh, as it needs water, it picks itself up, fills it up with water. It's all adjustable. Um, basically it mounts to the wall with two holes hook your water hose up to it I made this board that I'm gonna use it's gonna actually go about like that somewhere I don't know something like that but I'm gonna figure that out as I start putting it on the wall but I'm gonna mess around with this it should be uh, kind of interesting because the uh, water inlet is actually a garden hose and I'm not using it outside so I gotta figure out how I need to convert it over to a uh, hose to come off the back of a sink so that should be a little interesting trying to figure that out but I think once I get that and I need to make some kind of a diverter or a T valve I guess to come off the back of the sink on the cold side so yeah, it could be a little interesting. We'll see how this all goes. Okay, so basically, it's going to go right here. Um, I was trying to find the studs. I used a stud finder, but it said there was a stud here, and there was nothing there. So, I found one good stud. My board's going to go like that. And then the water, you know, like I showed you, it's going to mount onto it. But I'm going to come off this pipe here. Well, actually, it's the other side. But one of these pipes coming out because the cold's over on the right hand side. But it's gonna come out here, so the, the hose will have to come off underneath it. And what I wanna do here is I'm gonna make it so that I can clean this. Um, I'm just gonna have two screws basically that stick out and it's gonna hang off of them like bolts. And uh, when we need to clean it, we can just unhook it and uh, put it right in our shower here and rinse it out, clean it out, and then hang it back up. Trying to make it uh, as easy as possible. Right now we have this thing, and they go through one of those about every two days, roughly. And I think the thing's like a three gallon water or something like that. So I'm trying to do away with that and get an actual automatic water so that it just takes care of itself, basically. All right, well, I got my marks here of where I need to put the two that I don't have a stud on. These two are good. I got studs there, so I have regular screws. I actually still have them in a piece of wood. But I got these things. These are called mollies. Um, you basically pound them into the wall, run them tight, and then unscrew the screw. And that'll create a stud in drywall. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to get them in. All righty, so there's part one. And that thing ain't going nowhere. I actually sunk these all in flush so that uh, whenever I take the water right here and I take it and put it on here, the screws can't hit it. Not sure exactly how high. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to make the bottom right here. Bottom of this is gonna be flush with the bottom of that board. Is what I'm aiming for. So I'll have to figure that out of where I gotta put the screws in, but that's what it's gonna look like right there. Something like that. So I gotta go and figure out what I need for this here. Cause this is gonna go on the other end of the hose behind there to come over for water. So I guess I'm off to Lowe's. Okay, well I just got back from Lowe's, went in. Um, the dude knew exactly what I was looking to do. Um, he was very helpful. Um, not Lowe's, Home Depot. And uh, I got this little T fitting. 
that I need. He gave me the hoses. These are the 30 inch. And then he gave me like a 24 inch extension just in case because I didn't measure how far over I need to go. And the problem is it has to go underneath it. So, and I also would like to be able to not have to unhook the hose when we do this and just literally put it in there and dump it and rinse it and hang it back up. But we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to start tearing into stuff. I got to unscrew this fitting back here first all the way over there and then hook this little, uh, this little guy up. So I'm going to get to it. Okay. There it all is. All teed in. Um, I might have to tighten them up a little bit more. I'm not really sure. I just sort of tested it and they weren't leaking. But I ended up using the extension because it's got to come all the way over here. So now I'm going to put this thing together and hook it up and mount it to the wall. Alrighty guys, so I got this all done. There it is. I got the uh, water filling up in there. The little float shuts it off, turns it on. We'll see how it works, see how they like it. I like it already. I don't have to fill it up no more. What do you guys think? Go get a drink. Check out your new water. What do you think? Good boy. Mary, is he? A drinky? Huh? Come here, Izzy. Look. Go get a drink. Good girl. Get a drinky. Go ahead. Go ahead. You need to get a drink? Go get a drink. He's ever said, go get a drink. Look. That's your new water. What do you think? What do you think about your new water? Look. Go get drinky. I don't know. They know where it's at now, so we'll see how well they like it. Now oh, Xavier just got a drink out of it. Cats are in here like, what is this thing in here? I don't have any idea. Huh? You got a new water? Huh? Did you get any water? Or? Huh? Come on. Jasper's like, dude, I don't know what you did, but you made something weird in here. Huh? Now you guys have fresh water all the time. What do you think about that? Is that what you think about that? <laughs>